Hi Year 11, it's Miss Gaffney here. Um, I hope this finds you well. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you. Paper one, it's done, smashed it, it's over with. Whether it's gone good, bad or ugly for you, first of all, I'm very proud of you. You've done as you know how proud I am of you already. Well done, keep it going. You've got two more papers. You've got a whole week to prepare for these as well. And don't forget all of the hard work you've put in previously. So what I want to run through first with you is just a gentle reminder, sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. It's the only way to make sure you rest to tackle the next two to three weeks of exams for you, including maths, all right? We will be open from seven o'clock again, the morning of the exam. A lot of you were there for paper one. It was great to see you. It was a great vibe from you as well. Nothing but positivity. It was fantastic. Please do remember all of the hard work you put in previously, as I already said. And also, nobody can predict what's coming up on these papers. Even if a topic has showed up in paper one does not mean it will not show up in paper two or three. Anything that comes out with you with regards to um, resources and topics list from us are only best guesses. They're not set in stone. It may or may not show up, okay? I just want to direct you to the Pixel Maths app. Some of you like it, some of you don't, but I love it. It is brilliant and it's come such a long way, all right? Released today, okay, in the Pixel Maths app, I've given a reminder here in the PowerPoint of your logins. If you go to set tasks and you go to here, you've got the AQA paper two, paper three, foundation best guess and the higher best guess, they have sets of questions that you can use based around the calculator that they think might come up. It is a good way to tap on your phone to work away on there and get the answers, get the videos, get the tips to help you with those topics. It's it'll just it's the best thing i just have no words on how brilliant that resource actually is all right i'll move on before i get lost in it setting your calculator okay i'm going to go through um the calculator bits in a separate video because there's just too much detail to put all in one video so i'll just do that in a separate video if you still are struggling on how to set your calculator to degrees and math please come down to us or speak to us on the day of the maths exam or beforehand and we will show you how it's done. It's very, very straightforward or just watch the second video that I'm going to produce for you, okay? Just remember, okay, these links here, okay? I have placed um, calculator questions on the school website and they do have answers, okay? So I've got foundation questions here. I've got higher questions here. These are the links, okay? They are in the revision section on the school website. More than welcome to use them. There are answers down at the bottom as well. Very, very helpful. Also want to bring to your attention when you're dealing with time and the calculator and these questions, especially around time, speed and distance. This is where a lot of students fall. You cannot use minutes, okay? You cannot divide by minutes. You can divide by hours, no problem, but you cannot divide or multiply by minutes. You have to convert the minutes to a decimal or fraction, depending on how the question requires it. Mainly the higher paper would convert to a fraction, which is easily done in the SD function on the calculator. So what you need to remember is that if, let's say, you needed two hours and 10 minutes, it have to be converted to 2.2. .2. It can't be converted to 2.1 to represent the 10 minutes. It's actually 2.2. .2. Also, you've got here 0 0.3, okay? Also, that could be represented as a third as well, if you were using the fraction with regards 20 minutes, okay? Use the information here. I've got a little conversion chart as well. You can easily edit that and take a picture of it and have it on your phone. Just to keep in mind with regards to that, you don't want to lose those silly marks because as soon as you use the minutes, the whole question is actually incorrect. Okay, and you get no marks for it. Just be mindful, take your time with it, run through it with your teacher before half term or after half term. Okay. Don't forget the formula sheets, which each and every single one of you have um, received, okay? If you haven't received it, it means you haven't been in the lessons for whatever reason. So please use these here. I'm sure you can zoom in on it if you can, or you can pop along and we can give you a copy. That's no, that's no hassle at all. One for higher, one for foundation. So for the higher paper, we're directing you to the November 2017 paper. The reason for that is we picked up on a big hinge from AQA, Paper one was quite similar to the November 2017. The style of questioning, some of the topics, it was quite tough, very, very similar format. So again, we're gonna push 
the November 2017 paper. We've given copies and lessons. Um, it's Thursday and Friday before half term. Uh, also, if you weren't in there for whatever reason, which you should not have missed school for, please use the links here, okay, to actually get copies of it as well as the mark scheme. There's also, I found a YouTube video where another teacher from another part of the country has actually walked through the entire exam for an hour and a half going through all of the answers. So you are more than welcome to sit for an hour and a half going through that paper, discussing it, go through it in groups with your peers. It will be very, very helpful. I've done similar for foundation as well. Again, the YouTube video is there to help you through the paper to walk through every questions and every error or misconception that there could be. So be, make sure take your time to go through that paper and may be helpful. The style of questioning, etc. Take it into account. All right. We've also handed out the Corbett Maths booklets. Now he's very, very good. We've handed out, we've printed out and given you half the paper of the Corbett Maths ones for higher end foundation. Okay, which you receive on Friday if not if you had not got it on Thursday. So the rest of it will be on here. There's also a topic list on there for higher and foundation. Again, that's his unseen topics, his best guesses that haven't come up yet. It might be worth having a look. Don't forget the doc, Mr. Barton Matt's ebook that was given to you on the previous uh, PowerPoint for paper one. Again, that will help you for paper two and paper three. All right. Just to remind you as well, if you get stuck, relax. Because if you panic, you will not think rationally and it's just a waste of time panicking. It really is. So relax, take a deep breath. These are the questions that you need to ask yourself. Is there another way to tackle this problem? Will a diagram help you? What do I actually know? Not what I don't. What do I know? OK, can I represent the information differently? Have I seen something like this before? OK, the exact same thing. All right. Still use it, relax, don't panic in the exam. It's a waste of time. I just want to tell you, you are bright. You are not in any way less than bright. You are all brilliant. You're all fantastic. You've all put in the work, okay? And we are still wishing you the best of luck in paper two and paper three. I will have another video, a short video for paper three, as well as next I'm going to record how to use a calculator to help you for paper two and paper three. Wishing you the very, very best of luck, guys. Um, and just remember, I am so very proud of you. I have a great half term as well. Thank you. Bye bye.